it looks like we're going back to basics. I've been called out to this job because this pod point isn't working and upon inspection and trying to get hold of pod point and work it all out, I spent three hours here trying to sort it out, it's not working. Long story short, we're swapping it out for a zappy. And I'm gonna point out to you several things that are wrong with this installation. Starting with the height. So the socket point on an EV charger should be minimum 750 off the floor. This one is 400. It's also got only half its fixings onto this post and it is not secure. This has been taken out of an old property and relocated into a new property and I found out some very interesting stuff from Podpoint about the warranty process regarding this, which I'll talk about throughout this installation. Where it's been moved, the old fixing holes have simply been siliconed up, which will do the job I guess, but it's not very good. So we're starting again. If you come to a new build property and they've just got a post this high, don't say to the customer like, oh well, it is what it is. Let's make improvements and make it right. And I've been fortunate enough to have this video sponsored by UK EV Installer Shop who have supplied me very kindly free of charge with a new mounting post, which will get this charger up to the right height. So thank you. I'm trying to save my customer as much money as possible as she's already paid for this install and now she's got to pay again. My intention today is not to slag off any other installers, but purely to offer you some advice and guidance because some of you guys haven't done EV courses clearly and don't really know what you're doing. Two screws and just some normal metal washers will not provide the correct ingress protection. So if you're removing this from an old property, make sure you've got the right washers. I need to say a quick but massive thank you to the following people for buying me a coffee this week, including Stephen Davies, Blink2105, David Edwards, Dominic Dude, Paul Elsom, Harry Shepherd, Jess the Hungry Cat, and Stuart Surridge. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to support my channel also, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can buy me a coffee. You don't have to, but if you do, brilliant. You're amazing. Or you can check out this website. Thanks again. Back to the video. Where this is a new build, the builders have done the old classic, just run a six mil twin in there from the consumer unit to a whisker junction box here. And then the other installer has joined it in Wagos with an SWA without a cat five through a duct to the charging position so i'm going to be pulling out the swa and installing an ev ultra cable so i've got my cat fives are here and then i'm going to have to from a new junction box i'll install here run a cat five round to the meter cupboard so i can put my ct clamp on no ct clamp was installed here and what i've learned from pod point after being on the phone to them is that if you have a pod point installed it can be installed by an approved contractor no problem but if you have it moved it has to be moved by pod point themselves otherwise they won't honor the warranty and the reason they gave to me for that is that they have so many jobs where other electricians reinstall pod points and they don't do it correctly and that's basically what's happened here no ct clamp warranty void not an approved pod point installer Warranty void. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this existing cable as a draw wire and pull my cable through. So what the UK EV installer shop has kindly provided me with 
is this absolute beaut. It's a stainless steel bracket, and this one is custom made for the Zappi, and they do all sorts of other ones for all different types of chargers. And this is gonna allow me to fix this to my post and get the charger at the correct height. It also comes with a fixing box, which includes anchor brackets if you're fixing it through a brick wall, grommets and stop ends. You can crash into it there, can't crash into it there. No. So that is why we're putting this in there. And like I say, this company kindly donated this. No, no. <laughs> that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Would you like another tea? Yeah, if that's all right. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, I didn't quite finish that one, sorry. Oh, right. I bet it got cold earlier, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's all right, it goes quick, cold quick outside. Oh yeah. <laughs> Lovely lady. So, if you ever are moving one of these chargers, you can buy these washers in these little packs. And they have that little membrane on them. Get yourself a set of them and just stick them in a the van. You never know when you might need them. And they're stainless as well. It's absolutely solid. And now, well, I've got this carport above me where my customer parks. If she slips on a pedal or whatever, she's not gonna smash into the charger. The post might take a hit, but at least the charger won't be damaged. On the back of the plate, you can see you've got all these fixing holes and they all line up with the ones on the back of the charger. And then in that packet, I've broke my tripod and I'm using like a smaller tripod, so sorry about all the ducking. In this pack here comes another little pack and inside this pack you get all the bolts, washers, nuts, everything you need. The only thing you mustn't forget is with the Zappi you get these washers again with that little membrane, so make sure you put them on the bolt first. And I'd suggest getting all of them on that you're going to use before you tighten it up. It has a grommet here for your cable to pass through. Just get that off for the minute and cut a hole in that in later. And then get your cable and there's a hole just here to pass your cable up. And down here, I've just got some of those D-line clips ready to go once I've glanded off my cable. So it comes with these caps as well in that packet which you just pop on there. And then also if you did use the anchor points, it has these covers here to cover those bolts. So I'm at a stage where I'm ready to test now. And what I've done is I have a new junction box fitted there with my cables connected. Hello mate, all right. I'm not gonna show you how to do the cable joins. You should all be electricians and I don't wanna make this too DIY so anyone just has a go. Inside the meter cupboard, I've run a Cat5. Look at this, it's a <laughs> Box lids come off, side note. And then the CT clamp is installed there. Make sure you install your CT clamp. If you recognize this property that I'm at today and you were the electrician on this new build, well, I've just taken your consumer unit lid off. And all I can say is, well done, you've done a lovely job. That is this, all tested, connected to Wi-Fi, and I'm just downloading the latest firmware. Don't forget to do that before you leave. Give the charging cable a bit of a clean before you go. And that's it, job done. Hopefully you picked up some tips from this. And if you're ever in this situation and the customer doesn't have a post big enough, go to the UK EV installer shop and grab yourself one of these. They're absolutely brilliant. Subscribe to my channel.